Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hi. I guess we're getting underway. Alright, what I want to do is test out something, a new concept I have. And I'll try it out on a big piece of flat log. There we go. Don't do that, it'll give you slivers. So what I was thinking was, I want to do black shadowing, kind of spatticled out from around it. So if you remove all the juicy bits here, all sensual like, then you can just uh, kind of set it right like that. I think it'll work. It's gonna test it out first. And you just. That way it gets a little bit outside of the whole thing and gives you that. Then you fill in the other stuff, you know? What do you think? Should we? I have no idea. Hmm. I don't even know, man. Maybe it not. It seems a little too radical. Yeah. Dying from paint. Yeah, and then, uh, so we'll start with the outline of the background, I guess. Give me that paint. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then we should just be able to uh, put the blue in and the white and then do the purple. Yeah, the purple. Okay. Alright. Easy squeezy. Wait a minute. We need our blue color. Oh. This okay. is purple. Yeah. Now we gotta get the blue color. <laughs> huh, we're being stupid. Yeah. Alright. Just okay. like how long it takes me to orgasm. Ha! Ah, ah, okay, well, you know, that's depressing too, right? That's not good. That's, that's the equally as depressing. Where's the blue? Oh, the blue. Yeah, so we gotta start with the blue. Alrighty. I'll take that lid off. Alright, hold that side. And we'll just uh, spray her down. Oh, this surface isn't so good for this blue paint, maybe. Huh. Maybe we do need a coating of black. Yeah, that looks kind of chintzy. We could put black over it, then more blue into it. Yeah, I don't know how much it'll keep soaking after the uh, paint, though. I mean, it might make a cool effect. Let's just do it, and if it looks like crap, we'll just do it on another surface. Right. Let's just go for it. Zillion. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And we add in these, I suppose. Oh wait, we gotta let it dry a little bit first. Well you gotta get the correct one for the correct side as well. Huh? Well, because they're cut ever so slightly differently, so. Well yeah, I know, but I can't tell until it dries anyways. So we might as well pause and uh, come back in a minute when it's dry. All right, have we reached the next stage? Yes, we have. Prepare the operation, doctor. Ah, oh, nurse, I see you come with no cleavage today. Perfect. We're not distracting me. Yes, it would make sense, seeing as how I am a male nurse, that I would not show up with cleavage. Yeah. We gotta pop this playful bit out. Yeah. What is it sticking? I'll to? just cut for a second. Yeah, just cut for a second. Okay. Now for the new color. The super awesome. It's like purple. Oh, right. You don't have to worry about spraying my hands. Yep. Isn't that great? Alright. Alright, 
I'll just hold that, I guess, for a little bit. You see, what is uh, really important about what I'm doing here is that the cardboard, and it's why it's better than using plastic and cutting it like most people do with a stencil knife, is uh, it soaks up a lot of paint. Yeah. That's very important so you can go heavier with the paint. And that's good with any surface, wood, concrete, to really soak up the paint with the actual cardboard. And that's partially one of the reasons people do this classic style of spray paint this way. Yeah, it really, and this surface uh, sucks up more because it's particle wood, so it's not as important, but it still helps. Yeah, all right, I guess we can hang on this one. This one. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, that's pretty cute. Yeah. Looks pretty nice, and then we'll uh, put the white in the center. Yep. All right. I mean, we could go with a different color in the center, but I don't know. Why don't you just do white? I don't know what other color would be good. It's gold and... Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, all right. Set this back in here. The boys are back in town. The boys are back in town. Sure, why not? I don't know who the boys are, but they're back in town. Yeah, okay. Let's strip that off. Yeah, there we go. That's unnecessary. Uh, it's actually in the wrong way. I think it is. No. Is it? It's gotta be. Look, it's in the wrong way, yeah. We buffed it. We biffed it. Yeah, that makes more sense. That lines up. Oops. Are these the wrong angles? Did we put set these on the top and bottom wrong? It must be the other way. Yeah, but then those don't line up. Well, we can spray over them, but it might come out looking stupid. Well, we can see. We'll see what happens. All right. Daddy's tummy is coming in hot. There we go. It's very important that I soak up as much of this paint as I possibly can using the cardboard around it. That yeah. is very important that I keep doing that. And if for some reason this looks like crap, we'll just not show it and do another one. Hope it looks good. I'm yeah. lazy. Yeah, I'm pretty lazy, so I hope it just works. Who knows? It looks like crap. When it's done, we can just remove the whole box, maybe. Yeah, I don't know when it's done. And we'll give it another 20 seconds. I put quite a bit of white paint on there to make it look all even flat mat. Didn't like the bubbles that were showing up. Yeah, you need your gloves stuck to it. Your gloves are looking all like nebulous. Yeah, I know. Out of space. They're looking like nebulous. Yeah. Alright, uh, let's just remove this whole thing now. One go. There we go. Hmm, yeah, we did mess up somehow, see? Like I said, I'm telling you, it's these pieces. They were put in the wrong place. We must have. Like I said. Yeah. I don't even have